Hey, this is Zach with Ethics Archery. We're going to be putting together a video series to help you guys out when you're trying to decide what components you need. Arrow build from start to finish the best we can help you and what we recommend. So one thing you have to find out first to start with is what spine arrow you are going to use. So what we would typically use is the Victory Archery Spine Calculator. And what you'll do is you'll go in here and you'll put in your bow information. So the bow I'm shooting has an IBO of 343. My draw weight is at 60 pounds. Tip weight, I always recommend start with a 100 grain tip. And then for insert weight, start with a 50 grain insert. So shaft length is one thing that you are going to have to either measure on your arrow or a simple way of looking at it is whatever your draw length is, you can cut that arrow carbon to carbon measurement three quarters of an inch shorter than your draw length. So I have a 28 inch draw length. So I would cut my arrow shaft 27.25. So arrow wrap weight, that would depend if you're gonna use an arrow wrap. I typically do, so I'll put in eight grains for that. Fletching, depends on the type of fletching you use. 18 seems to be standard. And six to eight grains is your standard knock weight. If you're using a lighted knock, you would go whatever that weight is. Mine are 20 grains. So at this point, all you'll do is hit find spine. Victory recommends a 350 spine. So that would be my starting point. Now with this calculator, one thing you can do is actually play with your different tip weight, leave everything the same, and let's look to see if I go to a 200 grain tip. Let's see if that changes the spine. It does not. So a 350 spine is still good for me. It gives me room to play. Now, if I really want to play around, we'll keep that 200 grain tip. And let's go with 100 grain, just standard static insert. Let's see what happens. So now it goes to a 300 spine. So I know if I'm going to use this much weight up front, this is going to be the spine that I should start with. So one thing with spine selection on your bow is there's a lot of calculators and programs out there that will help you determine which is a good starting spine for your setup. Always play with your numbers up here to adjust it. If you can adjust by 100 grains and your spine doesn't change, then go with that recommended spine. If you're in between two spines, I would recommend going with the stiffer spine because you can always cut that shaft a little bit longer to weaken its reaction or you can add more tip weight up front or increase your draw weight. So this is the starting point you're gonna to wanna to look at when we're gonna determine our spine.